Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the new BTEC UV Pro Radio. It does 2 meter 440, and we'll get to it right after this. The items you get with the radio, you get the owner's manual, belt clip and screws, charging cable. They give you a tool to put the belt clip on, antenna, 2600 milliamp hour battery, and the radio. At the time of filming this video, this radio is going for $164.89 on the Baofeng Tech website. Now, some of the features it has, they're showing that you can hook any kind of Bluetooth item up to this thing for the most part. You can pair it with AirPods, the Cine Motorcycle, Bose Bluetooth headphones, and even more. There is the BS22 handless wireless microphone. We're going to show you how to hook that one up. It has effortless memory channel sharing, which means you can... Basically, if you have two radios, you can send all your information to another radio and not have to go through the programming again. They have this audio relay which basically means the radio is acting as a repeater, so to speak. And again, here's the items you get. USB-C cable for charging, belt clip, you got your screwdriver to put the belt clip on, antenna, radio. They say it's IP67 waterproof and dustproof. It can do airband, APRS, again, USB-C battery charging, which is great. And they show here how you can use the BS22 Bluetooth speaker mic. Battery capacity, 2600 milliamp hour. It has six channel banks, 30 channels each, which is 180 total channels. Power levels are one watt, three watt, and five watt. You can receive your commercialized FM radio and the aviation bands. They say that the IP67 means it can be submerged in one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. They're saying that the radio weighs 11 ounces that its dimensions are 3 inch by 3 inch by 11 inch. And that 11 inches is with the antenna on. And this radio does have NOAA all set up in it. All you have to do is turn on the emergency notification. If something goes on in your area, it'll automatically switch to the NOAA station. They did a good job with this manual, in my opinion. It's very easy to follow, very easy to understand. They do give color pictures, which is nice. They give you an explanation of what all the features are on the radio, the items that come in the box. They tell you what all the icons are on the screen. And this shows you how to get from VFO to the memory channels by just press and hold the asterisk key. You can lock the keypad. It talks about setting the VFO frequency, sending messages, seeing if there's nearby people. It talks about the digital modes. And then here it talks about the programming software. Again, you get color photos for that. Makes it easier to follow. Even talks about Android and iOS. Gives you the menu settings and what each item does. Like here you have the path for APRS. You choose one of those. Again, you'll have to put in your call sign. Here it talks about NOAA and how to sync your radio. These talks about the uh, programmable buttons on the side below the push to talk key and explanation of the settings and it gives you some general information about the radio and that's it for the manual I want to give you a size comparison between the UV Pro on the left and the GMRS Pro on the right and now let's take a look at this radio first things first There we go. Starting with the left side of the radio, you have the push talk button. These two buttons are both programmable. On the top, obviously, you have your antenna, power volume control, indicator light of whether you're transmitting or receiving. GPS antenna. There is no flashlight on this radio. And then on the right side for external microphones, just take this cover off. You'll need a flat tip screwdriver since it's IP67 rated. On the bottom, you have this lever right here, which is how you go about taking your battery off. 
Left button gets you into the menu, and this one will take you out of the menu. And here's where your USB-C charging port and indicator light are, and the mount for the belt clip. Nice thing is, you don't have to buy more belt clips. It mounts to the body of the radio. Let's take a quick look at the menu. Then you have your channel settings, where if you want to change channels and set them up. Signaling is where you can send messages, call, check, see if there's anyone. With this nearby people thing, it's just like the GMRS Pro. You can see if there's anyone close to you that is using this same radio. Radio settings. You can set up dual watch. We'll go ahead and check that. Scan, talk around. What talk around does, the way I understood it in the instruction manual, it basically acts like the reverse feature with on the repeaters. Power indicator, transmit subtone, receive subtone. This is your channel group, your squelch level, your transmission timeout, time limit. I'll do 120 seconds. Tail elimination, digital mute. This is your push to talk follow. Push to talk release, and that's it for that one. General settings, your connection, which is for like pairing, looking for other devices. Signaling settings. This one you can send your ID out. You can allow a check. Here's where you set up your APRS. Digital mode, sound settings. This is where you, do your, you have your mic gain and your Bluetooth mic gain, your speaker. Set both those at high. Keep connected, that's for the Bluetooth mic. Tone, no, we don't need that. That makes it so every time you push a button, you're not hearing a beep. Display settings. This is where you do your brightness, your screen timeout, setting up your time zone. For me, since I'm on the West Coast right now, we're at minus seven. And you can either do Imperial or Metric. And you can set it up for low power mode. And then these two, last two is uh, reset the settings, and you can reset it back to what it was when you got it from the factory. And that's it for the menu. And then again, press the red back arrow to get out. Okay, now we're going to set up the programming software. You're going to open your app store. I typed in BTEC UV Pro to find it. Once you find it, go ahead and download it to your phone. Then open it up. It's going to ask you, at least for the iOS, if you want to use it once, only when using the app, or don't allow. I'm only going to use, want it to track me when I'm on the app. And, of course, you need it to work with Bluetooth. And then what you're going to do, you're going to go into the radio, general setup, general settings. Click on connection and then pairing, and you see it already popped into UV Pro. Go ahead and pair it. And these are the preloaded channels on there. You can back back out of this. And down here at the bottom, you can select if you want it on FM radio, if you want the talk around, which power setting you want, low, medium, or high. Do you want to do single channel, or do you want double channel watching and you can scan on the far right. Let's go ahead and add a repeater in there real quick. We're going to use channel 15. Press and hold it till it pops open. Title is the name you want. In this case I want Clara. Save it. Go to your receive frequency. 145-220. Your transmit frequency, 144-620. This one does have a CTCSS on transmit, and it's 103.5. You see it puts it in there. Transmit power, we'll do high. And then once you have everything in there that you want, hit save. And then... Go ahead and click on it. You can see at the top of the radio, it already put it in. Now to do a simplex, and we'll clean up this one, number two, we're going to do the national calling frequency. Now you only get a limited number of characters, so we're going to do, as soon as I learn how to type, I'm just going to put nat call. 
change our frequency. You'll have to erase what's in there. 146520. And then make sure you clear the other one out and set it for the same. And now there's no, since this is a simplex, we don't have to worry about the subtones for the transmit and receive. And if you have a station that you just want to monitor and you don't want to accidentally talk on it, you can hit disable transmit. Talk around is what acts basically like the reverse feature on many other radios. Save it. Go up there and now you can see on the channel B we now have, we have NAT call on both of them. So we'll change one to Clara. And that's how easy it is to program this radio. It is very similar to the GMRS Pro, but you cannot use the GMRS Pro app to work on the UV Pro and vice versa. Now, if you want to change the name, like how it says E27B and UV Pro, you can press on the little icon where you see nickname up here. Go ahead and erase that. I'll put in my call sign. And then you can see on the top we have WJ6F. And you can do the same by hitting the gear for this down here. You can change that. It's handy if you have more than one radio. You can give them names or numbers. We'll again put the call sign in. And then click done when you're done with that. And in this you can set up different things and it'll tell you which firmware version you're at. And in another video, I'm going to show you how to do a firmware update. Also allows you to get the user manual. You have your general settings, which is basically what I showed you on there. Like your transmit time limit, I chose 120 seconds. You can change your microphone gain, your wireless mic gain, headphone mode. And if you want the headset to stay connected, you can do a power saving mode. You can Put the tone if you want to hear the beeps every time you push a button and you can also reset the radio from here and that's all there is to it and you can with the aprs which i'll show in another video where the map will come into play okay we're going to start with the national calling frequency and we're going to check the power levels on this radio we're going to start with low as you can see on the screen right here there's a little l first with low power WJ6F testing, or 1.59. Now we'll go to medium. And we're at 3.14, 3.13. And now we're at high. And we're at 4.10.9. Okay, let's try 440. We'll go back down to low. See the L. And on low, we're at 2.12. Medium. Oh, medium, we're at 4.4. And on high, we're at uh, almost six, about five and a half. And I'm going to show you how to pair the BTEC BS22 Bluetooth hand mic to the radio. It's actually very simple. First thing you do, go into the menu, go down to general settings, click on connection, and then click on pairing. Turn the hand mic on with the power button at the bottom. Then click on it twice to enter pairing mode. And you can see it's flashing red and green. It'll take a second to uh, hook up with the radio. There you go. Arrow down to BE22. Select it and then select pair 
and it's connected. But it is that easy to hook up a Bluetooth device. And this also goes for if you want to hook up a set of AirPods or even the Bose wireless. I think this is a great radio. I really like how easy it is to program, how easy it is to use. Even programming from the face is relatively easy. It doesn't have uh, too many controls you have to worry about. I like the IP67 rating. And again, you got the two programmable buttons underneath the push to talk. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos. And again, thanks for watching.